Yo, what's good, Sanctuary? What's good, YouTube and Twitch? What's good, my horde? Oh, yes, TZ Andy in T minus two minutes. Your boy got online just on time. Let's go. Let me fix the chat over here. Looks like we got to refresh the source. What's new? There we go. Got the chat back in. What's good, Liv? What's good, Jimbo? What's good, Bib? Man, everybody's here for Andy TZ Grail tonight. Let's fucking go, boys and girls. We got to get this thing cooking. All right. So she's going to be TZ'd. We're going to start the clock right now just to get prepared. She's going to kick off. We're going to go fast moving right out of the gate. I got here just in time for a little bit of an early stream tonight. Happy Tuesday. What's good? Hope everybody's having a good week. We are fucking locked in. Ready for player seven right here. We got a 30 Maras. We finally got an Iraq. We got Steel Wrens. We got uh, Mesher Smith's Axe. We got three Grail finds a couple nights ago when she was TZ when I did a spot Discord stream. So we are going to be dialed in, boys and girls. Thank you all for being here with me. Let's get some Grail drops. Oh, there she goes. Let's make it happen. Locked in. All right, guys. How many are we going to get tonight off Andario? Let's take some guesses. Are we going to get two plus? Are we going to get two plus items of the Grail tonight? Well, I will tell you what. We did her a couple nights ago on a Discord spot stream, and she dropped me Steel Wrens on the first game, which was epic. Yo, what is good, Father Sin? Man, the crew is coming in hot tonight early. We love this. Yeah, I was able to get on about 30 to 45 minutes early, boys and girls. I had to convince the wife to let me on because Queen Bee herself and Dario was terrorized. And I helped get the kids down for bedtime a little bit early. Ooh, all right. Starting with a Saigon's belt. Exactly what we want, boys and girls. And a nice, nice little phase blade. <laughs> not the drop that we want to see, but we'll start with that. That is not the Steel Ren drop that we got a couple days ago, but we're going to see what we can get. Yeah, you better get logged on quick, Father Sin, man. We need you to go get those Grail drops. How are you doing on your uh, Grail progress? You said you were like 73% or something, right? Uh, last time we spoke. Oh, respect to full Bliss Orc. Okay, very nice. Well, you know where I respect my ES uh, Orber not too long ago, so we are also cold. I'm a huge cold Sork fan. I always always have been just comfortable playing it. It's not that I don't like fire or that I don't like two-handed self-wield Nova, but I think especially in hardcore, uh, as you know, with my Fortitude Sork build that Saggy came up with, if I was eventually going the two-hand self-wield on hardcore and I was getting the Nova build with Fortitude, then I would have no problem doing that. But otherwise, if we're going to do hardcore right now, and this is player seven, she's monster level 99, uh, oh, by the way, boys and girls, I have an update to show you, which I have realized. So let's get out of this game. We'll go to the next game. I will show you actually live in town. The reason she is getting melted now on P7, which was elevated from where she was in the past, is this. Because we finally found a rack, which, of course, gives me the plus one skill. And I slotted in the SOJ that we found off her not too long ago. So now with these two plus points, it really increased my DPS further which was huge. And so now that our cold mastery pierce is a little improved, obviously we have the overall DPS improvement slotted in. She is rocking and rolling right now. We are easily getting her down on P7. And like I said, because my character is, uh, of course, character level 94, we are completely maxed out in all things TZ. So she is monster level 99 and she is plus five off of my base of 94. And you can see that even at player seven, she is melting. And again, this is no skillers. This is no Andy. This is no torch. And, you know, we're taking her down. Now, I will say this. Obviously, doing terrorize zones above P5 in a cold sork, especially ES orb, that is a little spicy. So most terrorize zones, I'm really going to be doing P3 to P5 for the most part. Um, just because, again, your, your DPS does struggle a little bit, which is not unexpected with orb scaling especially when it's terrorized because everyone's going to get a little bit of the boost. So as much as she might be a little bit slower on P7, obviously from a 
obvious P7 perspective for all things drops. That's exactly what we want to do since Andy's no drop is not advantageous as Mephisto uh, Bail and Diablo. Maybe I'll catch Niz and some of the EU crew a little bit, guys, because it's been a minute since we have seen Niz and a few of them. I know Niz is busy with a new fishing company that he was getting off the ground. Fatherson, thank you for the recent comment on my newest YouTube vid that dropped today. I appreciate that. I think a lot of people are going to be pleased with this series. Um, you know, like I said, I, I think that, you know, a lot of people obviously know what these items are and, you know, they've done the research previously and they might have a gut feel for how best to quickly acquire specific items. But I do think that it's going to be a refreshing series, even for veteran players or especially newer players to the game that happen to find their way to my video. Uh, ooh, unique ring. Let's go. We still need a bull cathos, by the way, guys. And that is a gold dagger. What do we have here? Ooh, a 30 nagel. All right. Very nice, guys. I actually have not found. I know for a fact I have not found a perfect nagel in all of the runs that I have done. So I will very much take a 30 nagel because I'm sure I will use it on a lower level character at some point for other guys that we are going to have to level. So with that said, we will store the 30. We'll stole the gold dagger because why not? Eating a ham and cheese mayo sandwich. All right. Liv is locked in for Shogun Tuesday later. I will be going to watch it after this, so I'm probably going to I'm probably going to get off right after 10 o'clock. So and Dariel's TZ, then Stony Tomb is TZ, and then uh, I want to go watch Shogun. Wife wants to watch it as well. So Probably going to be a shorter, well, I say short, but I mean, two hours isn't short, short, but probably be getting, oop, we're going to go north because they have a Fana Aura down below, the Elite. We don't want any of that smoke, especially not with her monster level 99 and TZ'd. Shogun Tuesday, baby. That's right, Liv. I will bring her down a little bit now. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, we are not getting any drops right now. What is going on, Andy? You are not doing me well right now. This is not the start that we want from TZ Andy. Come on, girl. Come on now. Come on, Andy. Hmm. Kron was messaging me in the Discord. He is bowling actively, so I don't think we're going to see much of Kron tonight. He said he might try to stop in if he gets back in time, assuming I'm still on. Biv, you still play? Is, uh, PTR, PTR is probably over at this point, right, guys, on uh, D4? I mean, usually it only runs a weekend. Uh, I assume it would have wrapped up by now, but ooh, sorry. what's going on there with the teleport lag? Ooh, man, second game with a fan aura up north. got an Eldric Orb, boys and girls. That is not a Grail find. I think the last one I found was a plus two and a decent roll on the Lightning and the Fire. Okay, we got two runes up here. I don't necessarily really care about these, but as I joke, you just never know when you're going to need them. So I'll take the boots. We will check those out. All right, let's go see how this Eldric Orb roll. Did we get a plus three skill Eldric? Let's go see, boys and girls. Let's pop this bad boy and roll. Oh, man, we got the plus three, but we bricked on the ED. I'm pretty sure tw it's 20 to 30 on both those ranges. Well, that is a wicked trade off. We got the plus three, but we did not get the ED. But again, that is not a grail fine, boys and girls, moving this back over. We already had it, but it's only my second copy of that. So I'm going to keep that because 
I would like to have an additional copy as I always liked to on a hardcore grail because as we know, I'm not going to say the words, but if you get sent somewhere, AKA the shadow realm, you need to have those additional copies. So you do not technically lose those grail items upon rip. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about that. Oop. Okay, she is mited. Yeah, her physical hits when she's mited. Okay. Gonna have to do some epic kiting here. No, I th I'm pretty sure, Tom, a shooters can go to 30 ED. I'm pretty sure. Can it not? I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, yeah, the energy goes to 30. I thought it was, uh, yeah, plus three is perfect, but I thought it was 30 ED on each side. Somebody can check me on that, but... Whoa! Might, might, might. There we go. Uh, ooh, we almost got Shadow Dancers there, but it did not roll. We'll get the GC here. Let's pop, pop. I don't really care about the belt. I have all these. Anything else that's interesting? Nope. Oh, wow. I stand corrected then. How dare me? <laughs> Here I am saying that in a shoot is a bad roll. Wow. Okay. I don't know why for some reason that I thought that those went to 30 offhand. Hello. Oh, Merc got clapped there. Not surprising with that might pack. Thank you, Tom, for uh, spot check. That's the beautiful part of the grail, right? It might not be a grail drop, but obviously if you find a decent rolled item, you are far from upset about it, especially if it's only your second time finding the item. What's up, Twitch viewers? Thank you for tuning in. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are doing well. Maybe you guys caught a glimpse of the pandemonium and the eclipse on Monday. The world did not end. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? Man, Andy girl, you are usually S tier, but you are a little bit quiet tonight. What is going on? This is not normally what we expect. Yeah, Fathom is 30. Yeah, Th Fathom for sure. Um, I clearly probably passively in my head mixed those up. Damn, dude. I take that corrected. That was one hell of a fa um, Jesus. One hell of an Eldritch roll. I knew the plus three. I knew the 30 energy. I thought for some reason the uh, EDs went to 30, but damn. Let's fucking go. As much as I find items and you've seen items in this game or you've used it sometimes, you just tend to forget exactly what the ranges and the affixes are in the burials. Oh man, ah, that's so disappointing. I found a couple legendary mallet rares. We still need Schaefer's. Ugh, that sucks. Yeah, I thought we maybe needed IK, but I think we need IK armor still. Of course, Sacred Armor 87. That's going to be fun. All right, boys and girls, like I said, we are going to keep powering through TZ and Dariel, and then in 50 minutes, we do have... Uh, Stony Tomb TZ, that's one of my favorite areas in general, especially for a cold sork, because no one is cold immune in there except for creeping feature on level two, the super unique. Yeah, I'm dialed in right now, Liv. It is hot as heck in my office right now because it started getting warmer today. I haven't fired up the AC unit yet, but man. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pull them her north. Let's get that fan ore off. If they make their way up here, though, that's going to be spicy. So I got to try and kind of keep her contained and kite it up here if we can. 
And then I'll move her down right at the last minute to splash around the super unique. Or not the super unique, excuse me, the the unique. Oh, we got two rings here. We got a Sasabi's. We don't need that. Damn, that is also disappointing, man. Another run generally empty-handed here. Just making sure we don't have an item limit issue on the ground. Nope. All good. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could say Daddy's on fire tonight. War of the Wise is definitely dialed in. But uh, honestly, though, that was a... That's actually... It's crazy. How shame on me for not realizing the ranges on, again, this uh, beautiful Eldrick. Because we got the 30 Nagel and the Eldrick on that. Or on those couple runs, so... I guess I can't really complain about the start. She's just not dropping uh, what I'll call unique velocity. Meaning that, you know, usually on tz you're going to get her to drop a couple uniques at the same time. And that's where we haven't necessarily seen that roll in sequence yet from her. So... Hopefully we hit one of them soon. We still have an adequate amount of time with P7 and Ariel. We are very dialed in. Oh, look at that, guys. Grandfather. <laughs> Another grandfather. This is our third one. Oh, man. God, I love a grandfather. That is one hell of a drop. I will be happy about that, even though it's not a grail. That is a beautiful drop. You got to love the 1.09 setup. That whole beltway was just a wonderful thing. Ooh, I'll take that drop. I might as well kill this elite here. See what we can't get. Ooh, another elite here. Ooh, a sacred Rondache drop, but it was magic. Or sorry, yeah, we don't need that. Let me go see anything else we really need here. The flawless amethyst. Nothing down here, right? Nope. All right. Pretty sure I'm. I'm fairly certain that's the third. Which, to be honest, I really have no need to keep this. Um, but we're gonna put it there regardless, cause why not? It is an 87 drop, and it's a beautiful thing. A little spicy. Little bit of a busy drop path there. We're gonna have to pick up here a bit some gold. Make sure we didn't miss anything over here. We have a man catcher, the flawless guardian crown. There's a great pole axe here. Is it F? No, it's five. We don't really care about that. Yeah, just gonna try to pick up some of these. Make sure I didn't. Hmm. Okay. And most unfortunate, another good density area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's RNG. I mean, honestly, I've hit, as you guys know, I mean, I do TZ Andy whenever I can on stream. We, there's definitely cold spells. I mean, like any RNG in this game on your item chase, it's going to happen. She usually is fairly lukewarm to extremely hot, uh, just given her drop table. Obviously, guaranteed quest drops, her unique, uh, sorry, her 
magic and unique factors always being very positive because she never independently rolls anything less than a rare which obviously when amplified with tc87 plus double dipping at her treasure class upgrading she is just very very hard to beat on the drop tables but the levy's gonna break soon it has to Something always, always has to give. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep pushing. Man, it feels like Andy is flying by, but we've definitely done a... I mean, we've, we've had to have done at least probably 10 to 12 runs right now, I would think. Or somewhere around there. So we are pretty fucking dialed in considering the rate of these runs right now. I'm taking full advantage of speed and efficiency as much as we can. I certainly know how to aim and how to overlap my orbs with kiting. A lot of practice over the years. You obviously also want the orb to explode because that is an additional AoE splash there. So you'll notice that I'm always trying to get the orb to end on Andy as much as possible or in the area of effect because that is going to do an additional splash damage on impact. So if you can try to target it the right way, that's always what you want to do. Oh my god, another Tall's Plate, boys and girls. <laughs> we literally got a Tall's Plate on the TZ Andy from like two nights ago. That's now my fourth Tall Rasha's Plate. This is a TC84 item. Let's go. Even though that is my fourth one at this point on the Grail, we are still going to keep it because you just never know, boys and girls. So we are always going to be safe about it. But damn, Tall Rasha's Plate. Man, we got a 320-20 Eldrick, a perfect Nagel. We got the Grandfather Old School Colossus Blade Sword, and now we have a another. Here it is, guys. Look, there it is. That is the other one that I found from a couple nights ago on TZ Andy. Man, she is rocking tonight with the sets. Let's go. Oop. I had a beer in my hand, and I was trying to teleport blindly on the map. Thought I had the angle. Not quite. Come on. Don't get stuck on me, mouse. Don't like you crap. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to get Andy down here. And we'll kill the shaman up there. Let's go get this down here as well. The other benefit of actually kiting for your mercenary is that because he's got the passive replen tick back to him with prayer and what he's wearing, it gives him just enough time to get a little bit. Oh, shit. OK, if she lands ahead, he's dead. Oh, Viper Magi, let's go. We will check that ceremonial as well to see if we got some 640s hidden in there. Yo, Liv coming over with the Prime for seven months. Dual streaming over here. Let's go. <laughs> That's my girl. Thanks, Liv. Appreciate that. Poison Res 5. Don't really care about that. We don't care about those jabs. All right, all right, all right. No official grail drops off Andy yet, but we have still been hitting some very nice items so far in these first 22 minutes of Hell P7 TZ Andy. I know. Time does fly, Liv. Jimbo, if you're still tuning in, brother, what's good? Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Hope the RNG blesses you tonight or this week. Whatever your grind is, could be last epoch, could be D4, could be some D2R action. Ooh, we got amped. 
All right, we need uh, we need his cleansing right now to get that off, please. Or else her physical is going to destroy my Merc. When her physical hit hits, it's aggressive. Yep, she just landed two, two big hits. I think it's the elite right here, which is why, yep. This is why cleansing's not getting it off. Ah, uh, I'll be all right. We'll get through this run. Ooh, amulet. Okay, guys. For the amulet, the two unique amies that I'm missing are a Seraphs and a Metal Grid. Those are both still elusive and outstanding here. So, maybe we will get lucky and hit. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ah, Nokazan. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Garbanzo beans. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, clearly they've been trying to pay homage a little bit to D2R, which we have definitely seen in the past with them. I wonder if they're going to eventually do anything with the Cow King at all. Uh, obviously, there were all those kind of breadcrumbs and stuff about the cow level. Studies in D2, way to go smooth between big study run. <laughs> Dude, Jimbo, I remember back in the day, man, it was always hard to focus on the studies and just the innate grind to just want to rinse and repeat the item chase of D2, man. The thirst always wins on Diablo, I will sell you that, man. It's like we've all taken breaks. I've certainly taken breaks from the game over the last 25 years. But man, dude, when it hits and you just have that, you know, that DNA to want to get back in the seat and just start ripping. Yeah, it's hard to put this game down, man. Obviously, for me as a you know, full time job, father, three kids, life stages, things change, man. But, um, you know, I'll still grind out with the best of them when I can, you know, as much as I can. But always good to play with you guys and hang out. Ooh, what do we got here? Skin of the flayed one. Already have this. This is a uh, moon rise or moon beast. I forget what it's not moon beast. Moon something. Name is eluding me, pretty sure. I don't need it, though. But I will ID it always just to be safe. I have an automated grail tracker, as most of you know, so when I ID it, it will ding me in the headphones, so that enables me to know if it is something. Oh, Blood Rise. I thought it was Moon something, but... No, it was Blood Rise. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's re-up the charges here with the HPs, MPs. ID scrolls, keys, and TPs. A hundred percent, man. You do you, Jimbo, man. You do you, homie. Living the life. Come on, Andy, just drop me one or two Grail items. Come on, we're almost midway. Drop me at least one or two Grail items. You know you want to. You've been thinking about it. Okay, there's what we're talking about. That's where I was just talking earlier. I wasn't seeing unique velocity. But we did just get three here. Unfortunately, it's nothing that I need. We literally... Rock Stopper, Rake Scar, and this is literally what we just found, Blood Rise, once again. Let's just make a quick check to make sure... Yep, no dice. No dice. All right, we are just encroaching halfway. We still have plenty of time to at least extract one Grail item from her. We would love to do that because there is quite a bit that we need. A couple streams ago, you guys might remember we were doing TZ meth and oh boy, he dropped a another sacred armor. Unfortunately, it did not go Tyrael's. It went Templar's, which I already have one, which is somewhat to be expected. But honestly, I'll take that drop luck, though, because obviously we do need one of those to roll a uh, set to get Immortal Kings because we don't have that yet as far as the one of the set pieces, unsurprisingly, as it's a sacred armor. Liv, it's all good. I appreciate it. If anybody, if anybody should be getting shit, it's Shadow right now. Where's Shadow? Shadow needs to be getting in here. Oh, what do we got here? We got a jewel. We got 
Yeah, Hellmouth we don't need. Ornate, this is Griswold. We also don't need... Oh, a Diadem. Oh my god, I did not even see that magic Diadem, guys. We almost popped another Griffin right there. Ooh, look at this bad boy. Chromatic Diadem of the Magus. Too bad that did not go three sockets. That would have been beautiful. Oh my god. Thank god I was paying attention because my Merc just got clapped by me not looking. And these guys were literally going to town. Oop. Oop, my energy shield just wore off. And all he dropped was Saigons. Impossible. What? Impossible? What do you mean? Oh, the Viper Ma Oh, the Viper Magic is in there. The 32. I totally forgot that I picked that up. I forgot that that was there. Oh, my goodness. Look at these bad boys. Tri res. We did get the Dex. We got the MF. We just did not get faster on walk. That hurts my soul. That actually hurts my soul to look at right there, boys and girls. Oh, that is painful. That's extremely painful to look at. Thank you, Liv. Drop those likes if you're enjoying the content. Thank you very much, Liv. All right, well, we're going to keep this because it's a little interesting. Obviously, we have a, another Viper here. I will keep those boots because in the end, again, they are still interesting overall. Um, not sure what, if any, I would really use that for because you'd have to force Larzik it. It's only a 50% chance that that FCR res goes to socket. If it was somehow the lucky three roll, that thing would be a beast, but might use it on another lower level character as we're leveling at some point. So I always like keeping those kind of quirky magics or rares. You just never know when you're going to honestly need something. So I'd rather by default keep it since you have unlimited mule space offline. But those boots with the tri res and dex and magic find, those are definitely still very, uh, very usable. Except not having fast run walk is rather annoying for quality of life. We would have definitely liked to see the fast run walk on those tri res boots we just popped. All right, giant thresher that would have been nice, but nope. Oh, OK, extra fast. Uh, pretty sure we have this already. Blood thief. Yes. Oof. All right, we are officially halfway now through Andario again. No physical grail finds. We have definitely had some solid drops, though throughout the first 30 minutes, so we're not upset about what has physically dropped, but nothing remaining, remaining, excuse me, of the 67 Grail items that I need. And again, if you are curious where I am, you can type exclamation Grail into the chat. That is gonna pull up my manual chat Grail, which is matching here over on Max Roll. And by the way, if you are curious what my Sorks gear is, you can also type exclamation gear into the chat, which also will pull up my Max Roll Planner, which will show you to a T what my inventory gear and my mercenary is using and skill allocations. It matches my character spot on. So if you are curious, feel free to drop those or keystroke those into the chat. Oh, let's go. Heard a Grand Charm drop. Thank you. All right, let's pop these dead rogues. Okay, pretty sure we don't need any of these either. Fast run walk. This is, this is going to be Sky Strike. Yep. Oop. Yeah, there's not going to be any Sky Strike that we need. And as always... If anybody, as I like to say, would like to join my Discord community, you are more than welcome. Exclamation Discord will drop a link in the chat. We have a great small community there. A lot of people that tend to pop into my streams across YouTube and Twitch are actively there. It's a great way to real time engage with me when I am not streaming. And we would always welcome you guys there. It's a fun group. Keep it casual. Obviously, I know there's a lot of Discord communities out there. And so, you know, no forced uh, point of entry into my Discord community, but I try not to promote it that much. I'll, I'll usually talk about it on stream here and there, but honestly, it's a growing place and yeah, no harm calling it out. So you guys are looking for another home, good group of people. 
Diablo fans, Last Epoch fans, and beyond, well, it's a place to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Fana and Amp. Yeah, that's fucked up. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, that scared me for a good second. That was aggressive. Oh, I did not realize the champs were up here. I would have tried to keep her up here for the AoE passive splash, but let me get these guys where they're here. See if we can't pop anything. No, we did not. Not really anything of major interest. Okay, he is a minion, so we will pop him, obviously, because he's going to be pushed up to TC-87. All right, what do we got? All right, we don't need Jade. The Spirit Trap. Oh, no. Oh, great form. Nice, guys. That is a Grail. That's a low TC. Nice. I have been looking for the great form. For some reason, I thought this was Spirit Shroud. Nice. We did get a Grail fine, guys. There we fucking go. We finally got a great form. It's amazing to think that a low TC item like this was still on my list of 67. There we go. Oh my god, we just popped a peasant crown out of this. We don't need the peasant crown, but obviously it's always fun to pop something out of a uh <laughs> out of a dead rogue. Damn, all right, gray form was missing. I knew I have a couple like Lenny Lenny Mosash too is something that I am still uh needing specifically, which is funny. So I will say from that vantage point, there are always things that I still need specifically, and Gray Form is one of them. So there we go. Thank you guys. Gotta love a low TZ find off of TZ monster level 99 and Ariel. All right, well, I said I wanted two to three items off of her. We got one. What do we got? Got about 25 minutes left. Oh my god. Oh shit. That was a scary fucking pop. Thank god for my new ES orb to work with Gurks, because at least I can land some initial blows in those dangerous teleport situations in hardcore where you're just like mother of god. Yeah, I want to pull her down and get away from the might because like I said, her physical really hurts. Her physical is no joke. When it wants to hit and it hit and it procs on a hit, dangerous. All right, uh, it's going to be hard to sift through right there. There's a lot of items, so let's go try to at least a minimum walk across the gold. Uh, let's see if I can't figure out. See, this is always the worst part about the fucking item limit on the ground. I really do hate it. See, look, see, you have some items hidden here. Yeah, I'm going to drop them over here just to make sure. I don't really care about these. All right, I think we're good there. Sixty-six items remaining on this hardcore grail, boys and girls. One hundred and seventy-eight hours in, we are slowly making our way. What's good, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Welcome to my hardcore offline Holy Grail. We are doing some player seven offline hardcore TZ Andy action. She is monster level 99. We are on the hunt. As you can see, we are 88% with 66 items remaining. As you can see, my accumulative clock timer in the bottom. We are 178 hours into this Grail. It has been a very efficient, slow and steady, patient, persistent grind. We got a long way to go with some of those tough items in the 87 Beltway. Yo, what's up, Hurt? Thank you for tuning in, man. Good to see you. Ooh, all right. oh my god, all right. Another legendary mallet. That was the second time I could have rolled a fucking Schaefer's, and nope. 
And here is Rockstopper. We already have too many of those. Uh, what's up? Where do you start farming has a starting Blizz Sork on offline mode? So the thing about Blizz, right, is that it's got really good DPS. You usually go pure Vita versus Energy Shield on Blizz, even if you're in hardcore. That was where I was. I was pure Vita Blizz before this ES Orb Sork. So really when it comes to Blizz, what you want to do is really any cold friendly areas. So if you think about, I mean, again, it depends how scaled you are with your character. And obviously you can use the player count to scale monster level difficulty. But when you think about Sisters Burial Ground, Blood Raven, Mausoleum and Crypt, that's a great cold friendly area right to start. Uh, obviously, power farming Andariel and Mephisto as the lesser evils, uh, rather, sorry, the lesser and the prime evil combo there. You know, they're always going to be a solid one two punch overall. Uh, areas like Ancient Tunnels, right? The Legacy 85 area is a great cold friendly area. The new uh, uh, 85 area Stony Tomb and Rocky Waste is extremely cold friendly. That's actually what we're going to be running after this because Stony Tomb is going to be TZ'd. Um, and then look, you got areas like popping LK chest if you can get a double super chest. Um, fireplace set, you can still do full chaos clears as a cold sork. You can also do pindle runs as a blizz sork. So you really have a lot of optionality there, Hurt. Um, I think it really just depends what what your gear is and how much player count velocity you can currently run at this time. That's really what it's going to come down to. Uh, yes, cows. Yeah, Bl Blizz can definitely handle cows. I would just say it depends what your objective is with cows, right? Like cows, as you know, are mostly vanilla white monsters. They don't have any uh, modifying factors to increase unique roles. Obviously, you have the perpetual cow king and his minions, but you only have about two to four elite density. It's not very elite dense. Cows is obviously great for bases. It's good for charms, and you can also do nightmare cows, especially for charms. So it's a little bit easier because they're, you know, they're monster level 64, if I recall offhand in nightmare, and that's assuming non terrorized. So again, kind of depends what your objective and prerogative is. But yeah, you can definitely do cows in hell. You'll see me certainly doing cows on stream. But the reason I'm doing cows on stream is that you need to get cow king set and cow king set only drops from secret cow level from a non cow king and his minion. So um, in that sense, obviously, I have to at some point start running more cows because I have to acquire those pieces and I do not have any of the cow kings pieces yet. So at some point, a lot of cows are certainly going to be in my future. That's for sure. That is all but certain. Okay, this was a weak drop again. Thank you, Andy. Let's see. I'm looking for Shaco, Tull's armor at that time. Then I'm looking for runes. So it's like <laughs> you need anything. Um, well, yeah, Shaco... Shaco, you want to start power farming and Dariel and Mephisto in hell. That much is obvious. Actually, by the way, talking about Shaco, I actually just released a video today, which I don't know why that just didn't trigger. Um, I might have to. Hmm, that's really weird. Maybe my crowd bot is being weird over there. But if uh, somebody can drop him over on Twitch, the video that I released today, I'm doing a new video series called Let's Talk Drops over on my YouTube channel. Um, that's where you'll find the video, or you can just type exclamation YouTube, which should drop, and you can go watch it, where I actually do a uh, succinct video on the most optimal farming areas to go find Shaco. Uh, Tall's armor, that's a little bit trickier because it's a TC84 item. And so uh, I'm pretty sure Tall's armor is TC84 as a lacquered plate. It might be 78, in which case, because it's 84. Um, Zoe, cut it out. But yeah, I mean, again, hold on. I might have to re-authenticate uh, my, uh, my crowd about one second, dude. I don't know why that's doing that. Oh, let's go. We got a ring. Is this Tall's amulet finally? Yeah, I don't know why that's not triggering. I had an issue with my Twitch authentication earlier. I bet it's because I have to re-log in. It's probably why it is not working right now. Oops, cyverbs. Hold on, oop, hold on one second. I'm gonna go see if I can't 
turn the crowd bot on and off. I don't know what is going on over there on Twitch, but let me go turn it back on. Hmm. It turned off because I had to re-log in. There we go. Now it's going to work. There we go. All right. Yeah, so feel free to check out my YouTube channel, by the way. Uh, you'll see the video that I just released there. Again, it's titled Let's Talk Drops Harlequin Crest Shaco. Uh, it's all good, Liv. Sorry you're tired. Have a good evening. Uh, not sure if you're going to get to Shogun tonight at this point as a result, but I will catch up with you. But I would highly recommend that you use Nishi's drop calculator. I've also done a video on it. Uh, in my opinion, it is the best drop calculator out there on the market. I did a pretty thorough review on it. If you want to figure out how to find any item in the game, Nishi's... Ooh, Tall Rosh's Mask. That is going to be your favorite thing to use on a go forward. It's one of the best drop calculators out there. You can also find it here. I'll link the video specifically. Or rather, sorry, it's not Nishi. It is Calc. That is his drop calculator, and that's specifically, uh, you'll see the video on my YouTube channel. If you also back out to nishicode.com, he has my video embedded there on his page. So that will show you how to use it. A lot of quirky, fun features to it. But as always, if you want to find any game in the item chase and rinse and repeat experience, the best thing you're going to do is A, use a drop calculator to identify target farming areas and monsters. And then you obviously, as from your elemental, perspective you want to put yourself in the best position possible so when it comes to runes runes are not influenced by your magic find they're influenced by higher player crown because it decreases the no drop chance on monsters and areas like ghosts ghost busting ghost hunting ghosts have a special treasure class so they're going to drop two times more runes than the average white monster obviously cows are always good for runes doing lk pops on single player because you can get a solid seed map and do player seven lk and power through those uh, but when it comes to actual items that's where obviously magic find is of course imperative for item generation and the ability to roll the item into the unique or set variant that you are indeed looking for in hunting so oh another corona we have five griswold coronas that is too bad <laughs> i would have loved another coa because i only have one crown of ages right now Gotta love finding an 87 drop though on TZ and E. Just unfortunately, it is not the drop we required or what we ultimately wanted. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I, I, I would, uh, you should drop me one. How to drop Manald. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would appreciate that. Oh, dude, they don't call me the bald Manald for nothing on my stream there, big guy. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Say this, man. Happy Tuesday. Good to see you. Honestly, uh, I've done it. I did a great video. One of my earlier popular videos was a ghost busting or ghost hunting guide. Um, I personally love hunting ghosts. Uh, I don't personally think it's a scam. I take a slightly different approach there. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you look at any of the drop statistical data, I mean, it's, in, you know, again, if you're reverse engineering and recreating client side information, it's empirically validating that ghosts do drop two times more runes. But like anything else, RNG is RNG, as I always joke in almost every video that I make about item hunting and loot. So, you know, obviously we are very superstitious players as Diablo players over the last 25 years. And so we're all going to have that quote unquote subjective gut feel or DNA about a certain thing. And I feel like ghosts are certainly a love hate relationship there. But I do like hunting ghosts. Obviously, if you're doing it in Arcane, which is the popular area, you always have to keep them on uh, the solid tile instead of the void of empty space, which we know. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, we almost got a Gladiator's Bane, almost got the Boomstick and the Reaper's Toll, but we already have a Bariza. And we already have the Blood Thief, which we found earlier. But we'll always... Ooh, Balrog Skin. I do need an Arcane's Valor still, if I'm not mistaken. Real quick, guys, I'm going to see what my dog's barking at. Hold up.
Oh my God, dude. I am borderline sweating, dude. It is so fucking hot in my office. It was like 78 degrees in the thermostat today because it got so warm here in the Midwest. And uh, I just didn't get around to firing up the AC. And oof, dude, with this fucking computer running, even at like 60, 65 degrees, man, it is hot. Obviously, when you have noise canceling headphones over your ears as well, it starts to get fucking toasty. This beer is definitely keeping me cool, but woof. All right, we got about 11 minutes left of Andy. I would love to get a second grail item before we move over. Ooh, ooh, holy shit. Okay, wow. That is very unusual. You don't usually see me take big hits like that, especially with Gurks. Wow. I really want to know what fucking hit me there. That was very odd. And maybe it was a little too close to her physical, but with 55% block and the ES that I have and the physical damage reduction and PDR integer damage reduction, that is highly unusual. I've not taken a big blow like that in a long time. I mean, this is obviously P7, so all the monsters are anywhere from 96 to 99, but... Damn, that definitely caught me off board. Wow, okay. We have two set rings. Don't give a shit about that, unfortunately. This is, uh, what? Mage Wrath. Uh, I don't need anything here. Nope. Summer is in full swing in India. My region has crossed 40 degrees Celsius already. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah, dude, me, me and heat, we don't get along, dude. I'm a, I'm a cold weather guy at heart. I will love everything about literally 30 degree weather, t-shirt and shorts walking around. Uh, I do not mind that whatsoever, but the minute that it starts getting like 85 or above, I feel like you just start to get angry and agitated. It's like you can only take so many clothes off, but at least in the cold weather, you can put so many clothes on if you really feel the need to, but man, yeah, it can get a. Uh, <laughs> it can get very spicy in the heat. I could only imagine India right now. To your point, yeah, that definitely is probably rather, rather aggressive or starting to percolate up. Well, shit, man. If you're tuning in from India, I appreciate you being here halfway across the world, man. Always a pleasure. I usually, it's funny, I have a really big EU faction, I would say, in general. Uh, I've had a lot of supporters over the years, even on my YouTube long-form content that actually have tuned in a lot from uh, a lot of different places across the pond. Oh, okay, we got another second set Ami. Arathas, of course, because why not? We are still on the hunt for Tall Ross's Ami. You guys should tune into the YouTube short that I am dropping tomorrow. It is quite funny for those that saw it on the stream live the other day. We are still on the hunt. 70 to 80 plus set uh, Amis later, 178 hours into the stream. We still do not have a Tall Ross's Am Ami, as incredible as that is, considering all of the 84 to 87 items that I have found, the runes that I have found, but nope. RNG is a cruel mistress, and of all the set Amis we've rolled, no. And by the way, if you look at the statistics, Tall should be about a 1 in 45. And so considering that I am easily on this grail at 80 set Amis plus, and that's probably even low. I'm just, I'm just guessing, but it's got to be much higher than that. And we still haven't rolled it. I am uh, statistically in the red here because I should have very much rolled a Talls by now. And guess what? Surprise, surprise. One of the best places to get the set Amis is from Andario himself, and we just haven't been able to roll it. Ooh, Magic Shaco. We second a uh, Vortex Orb. Uh, we will check this Kraken. Let's see. Three, but I don't really care about wearing that for an Enigma or anything else. All right, guys, we got seven minutes left of TZ Andario. And then we have Stony Tomb coming up next. We will probably do some Stony Tomb. We'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll be in the mood for a little bit of some dual campfire P7 LK pop. See if we can't pop some runes specifically because we still need actually a Sir rune. Sir, Ja, and Cham are the runes that I am looking for. You are not going to go uh, specifically over 
that rune in LK specifically, but obviously it is a great place to pop a second Burr rune. I have my Burr, would love a second, and I would love obviously the Sir for the Grail specifically, so uh, not a bad place to get some runes. Especially with the dual campfire action that I was able to roll with the seed that we have. Uh, what is this? Death machine? Yep. Don't need death. All right. Closing in, guys. This was not the TZ Andy that I would have loved to see. Now, again, we did get a near perfect Eldrick. We did get a tall Rosh's plate. We did get a perfect 30 Nagel. It's not exactly like it was a bad one. We did get a Griswold Corona, which was an 87. We did get another grandfather. So all in, she definitely dropped some solid items in this hour. Just not exactly what we would have hoped for specifically. But that's OK. That's part of the patient, persistent grail grind. What do we got, Fatherson? Andy gave me three Grails, Medusa's Gaze, Lacerator, and Bone Flame. Nice. I I think I have War Strikes or Lacerator. I don't have one or the other. I'd have to check my list. I don't remember which one I'm missing, but I'm pretty sure I have one of them. I just don't have the other throwing weapon. At least that's what I remember. If I'm on point there. All right, well, it's 855. I should be able to get in two Andes after this if we move a little bit fast. Uh, IK boots. All right, 855, let's go fast. Let's see if I can't get two more runs in, pop something on these final two runs for TZ Andy and get lucky on the Hardcore Grail. Oop. We lost the Merc. Let's get him re-upped. Are you doing P3 or are you doing P5, Andy, specifically right now, Fatherson? What are you doing on the Bliss Orc? Or are you just doing P1 for safety? I figured you're probably... I mean, usually the Bliss, bliss Orc, uh, you should be able to handle P3. P3. Honestly, P3 is a sweet spot, dude. There is nothing wrong, and it's very respectable to be farming on P3. It's a great specific area to be farming. Obviously, better geared and where I'm at with safety and survivability, I can get away with P7 Andy. TZ'd, so if I can do her TZ'd, I'm certainly gonna do her non-TZ'd. Yeah, I mean, you can see even with my Merc, like the, the, the benefit of the tri stack is awesome for ES Sorks, but you lose the life leash. So that's why I wanna find a second Burb because I would love to roll an F uh, Co. Chains of Honor. Oh man, Feral. Okay, not what we really wanted there. Not great. Uh, Alright guys. Oh, actually it's 856. We'll see. I might be able to fit another one in. Let's go. MF is around 150. Yeah, my, my Bliss Orc MF was right around 170. And now I'm at 201 with the ES Orb setup that I'm currently running. So you really aren't too far off from where my bliss work was for a long time, Fatherson. We were right around the same strike zone there specifically. Never liked being amp with her physical around, but... Oh, I saw that drop and I thought it was going to be another tall Rosh's plate. I was about to say, man, we just go to those fucking talls tonight. Little rattle cage option. Okay, nothing we care about up there. All right, guys, this is probably going to be the last Andy before we get over to Stony Tomb. Pretty sure that I reset my seat as well, but Stony Tomb is easy to find, always out in Rocky Way, so we probably will have to go find it, and I'm not sure what type of wing T map we look at. 
There is a specific seed on level two, which is awesome, where it's essentially a heavy rack room. And that is the best seed you can possibly get with Stony Tomb because of the ability to pop a bunch of GGs out of the racks. And I actually had that twice, but I just had to reset recently. So I am not sure what type of rack room we are going to potentially get on level two. Maybe we will get lucky. Time will tell. Oh, man, what? Oh, okay, I guess I wasn't paying attention to Mr. Merc. He just got clapped. Ah, oh, that is not the way I wanted to end TZ Andy. Damn, okay. She was a little ice cold tonight. Not gonna lie. She was a little cold. Not, not super stoked about that. But it is what it is. Sometimes you're just a little cold. Dude, we found the gray form. Yes. We got another Tall Rasha's armor. That is two off of her this week. We got another uh, Eldrick. A 30 Nagel. I got another Grandfather. We did roll another Grizz Corona. Obviously, I didn't pick it up, Niz. But the gray form was a grail. And we got it. So I am not upset about it. Okay, guys. So Stony Tomb is going to pop right now. That is where we are going to head over. So let's get over there. Let's go find where Stony is in this specific rotation here on this seed. Oh, it's all good, dude. Honestly, I'm probably going to be off in the next hour once it hits 10 o'clock. Uh, maybe a little uh, before. We'll see. Yeah, wife wants to watch Shogun, which the final seasonal episode is out today. So I told her, she's like, you better be up here right after 10. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. So... Oh, shit. Okay. Let's wait to get amped right away. Thank you. Oh, what do we have here? I'll take that. Thank you. Also gets the amp off. Oh, there it is. All right. Let's see what kind of map we got. Oh, you know what? This is P7. I forgot to turn it down. I was probably going to do P5, but let's see how this is at P7. We actually might be okay because now that we're rocking uh, a rack, oop. Now that we're walking, rocking a rack, nids, and we have the Sojon as well. Obviously, we have a little bit more DPS, so we might be able to handle this P7. I was originally meaning to come in here at P5, but I mean, so far at P7, it seems to be holding up. So yeah, let's let's keep it for now. See where it goes. What's up? But did hit the gym though. Wait, sorry. But did... Oh, you hit the gym when you're tired. Okay, I thought you were saying you're about to hit the gym right now. I'm like, you, you're a fucking animal. What are you, nuts? Alright, these guys are actually going pretty easy P7 so far. This actually might be better than I thought. I really wasn't sure how this was going to hold up on P7, but not totally upset about it. All right, these are whites. We don't really care about the whites. Let's go down here. Oh yeah, this is piercing through just fine. Also, the reason P7 is helpful is I am still looking for one Sunder Black Cleft, which it's going to drop the highest chance on P7 specifically. But we definitely want to take advantage of these urn popping because they are all going to scale with area level thanks to TZs. So you got to take advantage of the urn pops always. Extra fast. That is what kiting is for.
What's up? Is player seven always better than players five? Uh, it depends. In most situations, yes. But you have to remember that the elites in Diablo 2, so like champs and uniques, they actually already have 0% no drop. They are guaranteed to drop items. So in the fundamental sense, player count actually does not have an influence on them specifically. Obviously, where player count has its influence is on super unique. Oh, well, sorry, super unique so the guaranteed drop, but it's like on bosses or whites. So I would say in general, especially because you're looking for XP gains specifically, like obviously it, it can be quote unquote unnecessary to go to P7 in certain farming use cases. Like if you're not strong enough yet, I would even say be farming on P3. Like P3 still makes a substantial difference over P1 for no drop chance. And it still gives you a decent, you know, increase in drop potential. You obviously get a little bit of the benefit in your XP gain. So I'm much more of an advocate for people starting again, uh, again, based on what your challenges may or may not be is I would kind of start P3 scale up to P5, obviously, and, you know, kind of see where it goes from there. That's just my hot take in general. Um, but look, if you're totally twinked out and I mean, you want to fucking go for P7 and go for broke, like there's nothing wrong with it. But the one monster that you shouldn't do P7 specifically is Mephisto because he's already tapped out at no drop at players five. A lot of people make that fundamental mistake. So what they'll do is they'll do P7 over on Mephisto. But the problem is all your oh, my God, we popped a sacred armor out of that. I did not even see that. Ooh, a four socket already probably won't use that, but I don't know. Maybe. Ah, look who decided to show up, Rook. <laughs> What's up, buddy? We just did TZ, Andy, Shadow, and Niz. Not the greatest drops. We did get Gray Form. We got another Tall's Plate. We got another Grandfather. We got a near perfect Eldrick Orb. A perfect Nagel. Um,. You know, decent drops, but Grey Form was hilarious that that was the low TC item that TZ Andy dropped me tonight for the Grail. But Grey Form has been elusive, so we needed it to drop, and now we're doing Stony Tomb TZ, as you can see here. This is P7. I meant to change this to P5, but actually P7 is clearing just fine right now, so... I think for now, we can easily keep this over on P7. Obviously, P5 will move a little bit faster if we want to go for speed. But I think for now, there is zero reason to move this away from P7. Oh, creeping feature. Let's get that grand charm there. Let's pop some health pots. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Dude, gray form's legit. When I was looking at that, when I found it, Shadow, I 100% said the same thing. I was like, wow, that's actually very, very nice. Very, very nice. Whew. 66 Grail items do specifically remain. Continue to make very solid progress. All right. Let's get on over to round two with Stony Tomb, player seven. Let's see, can we get a black cleft? Can we get actually any legit items to drop tonight? Beyond a low TC gray form. Even though it is OG early on to Shadow's point. You can't hate on that. Doomvex getting clapped by the orb, baby. Oh, Shadow, by the way, the SOJ is on. I did move the SOJ over before the stream. So we have the Iraq on. We have the SOJ on. I updated my max roll planner. So all that stuff is officially updated based on what we are rocking right now. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, well, you can see it now on the screen. I mean, let's see. Base mana is 413. So base mana pool is 413. I think when we had a rack, it was maybe 1300. So it looks like it added, a, you know, more, more or less like 250. Not bad. Obviously, if I can get my base mana pool up anymore, right, it has the multiplying effect. But yeah, I mean, it still made a big difference. Yeah, I mean, I think if obviously with certain charms or other elements, right, like to your point, like 
based on what we may or may not be able to acquire or upgrade in certain cases, like, yeah, I can totally get my way to 2k. I could definitely see that happening sooner rather than later. Mm. Oh, what's up? Little fan of hidden pack. Ooh, and amp. Okay. Spicy. Ooh. Okay, couple champs. Big wow, we have three elite packs here, guys. There's literally three elites here in the open. There are three different elite packs here. Player seven, all mighted. We are amped. A little scary. Ooh, one of them has holy freeze, as we can see there. That's not going to be fun for Mr. Merc. Oh, we just took another one out. Ooh, we got a lot of... Sp man. See, this is the worst part about Diablo 2. Look at... We just literally just shrew up. Oh my God, sacred armor just dropped. Fuck me. We just literally combusted Sanctuary, deleting three different elite packs off of Sanctuary. And this is all we get. All we get. And they are all terrorized, which means these guys are all plus four, plus five. If there were champs in there. So these are all monster level 98, 99. Obviously all maximized on the Desecrate. Oh, Nick has arrived and I have a tall boy in hand tonight. What's up, brother? Good to see you, Nick. Pop, 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 pop. We're going to avoid this. There is no elites down there. Creeping feature. Mr. Decayed Pack. What's good, buddy? Happy Tuesday. Happy post-world ending eclipse. Glad to see everybody here. <laughs> About time, dude. End of days, Arnold Schwarzenegger style. Okay. Uh, two crossbow. Don't care about that. Thank you. I will take the hell rune. Whew. Man, love seeing the crew here tonight. Everybody's hanging out as we have some fun. Tuesday night grail. Tuesday night grail action. All right. What do we think? In the next 50 minutes, can we get at least one more grail item and drop that down to 65 remaining? That would be beautiful, boys and girls. Let's see if we can do it. Fatherson, are you doing Stony right now as well, or are you off doing another zone at this point? Or did you just jump on for Andariel real quick? Nice. Keep me posted as always, my homie, if you get any GG drops for your grail. If you guys don't know, Mr. Fatherson here is doing a hardcore grail with me. We wish him the best of luck in RNG. May the odds be ever in his favor. Shadow and Niz, you will appreciate two more set amulets tonight off of Andy. Cyburbs and Arathas. The hunt for talls continues. Very appropriate that I'm dropping that funny short tomorrow now, Shadow. Wink, wink. <laughs> Ooh, 
What's up, beetles? Little dung soldiers. Pretty much everything is lightning immune in here. If you guys are wondering why I'm not staticking, that is why. It's not because I'm forgetting. They're all immune. Static ain't going to really do much here for me. Wow, look at that, guys. A magic sacred armor. So literally in Stony Tomb. I just want to run this back. We have popped a... We popped a four-socket sacred armor out of a weapon rack. We saw a sacred armor white drop. And now a magic sacred armor. That is three sacred armors, I think, in the last two runs here. That is wild, bro. I don't know if this is part of the seed item generation luck that I have, but this is almost telling me that, hey, War, you might want to seriously start running Stony Tomb a little bit more. Ooh, mana, all res, interesting. Oh, nice little big pack room. Looks like pretty much all whites. Don't really have an interest in hunting any of these guys. But I wanted to get the racks. At a minimum. Yeah, we're going to skip over these guys. There's no elites. I really don't care about that. Go here for Mistal Creeping Featuring Crew. Come on, creep. Our creep. Oh, these guys actually were able to get statics. Okay, that was nice. Okay, so burning dead mages we can static down here. Okay. Uh, nope. All good. Next game. Shadow, you'll appreciate this. I looked at the click-through rate on the new video before I jumped on, and I'm like, oh my god, it went from 15 to 10? Why did that happen? Surprise, surprise. Our number one favorite suggested. <laughs> to be fair, though, it's really funny that the early suggested was a 2.5, and even with the increase, it, it like blitzed it with like 300 suggested impressions. It's still, it dropped to like 1.6, but still, right? Like, pretty much if you can hit 2% on suggested, that seems to be the general mark where suggested tends to perform. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, as we know, the algo tends to nuke performance sometimes when it chooses to do so, which is rather annoying. But you can't complain that the browse feature was performing really well. I mean, that proves that actually the comedic nature of the video, of the thumb rather, uh, and then the not the captionless thumb, I think was interesting, right? So I think it'll be a good test for the next video, which will also, of course, be captionless, right? We're going to kind of keep the theme with me wearing something, holding something, you know, whatever it is. Ooh, we do need a Conqueror Crown, if I'm not mistaken, that unique, whatever it's called. That would have been nice. We actually don't have a lot of primals. We still need Ariats. We have a wolf howl. I'm I'm pretty sure wolf howl is the only. I'm fairly certain of this. The only primal that I have. Oh, halberds. Yep, that's it. Yeah, we don't we don't have halberds. At least I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't. If somebody wants to go check my max roll link. They can validate, but I'm pretty sure I do not have a halberds. Good call, Shadow. Ooh, bone one. Oh, you know what? There are vamp clubs there, which I like to roll into blood crafts. Actually, how is this staff right here? Is it emery base, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, two cold mastery and two energy shield, but I'd rather go with three ES if I'm going that route.
Okay, we have a champ pack and a unique pack here. A little Belrog blade action. All right, Stony Tomb, you are one of my favorite areas in the game for Cold Sorks. You always deliver. All right, there is twice now down in a pack here where we have gotten a Sacred Armor. If we drop another one right here, then this seed has something going on that would be weird because that would be really bizarre if we got another Sacred Armor down here. I think I would be farming here a fuck ton on this seed, let me just tell you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, I like to have the option of the memory staff just in case I would ever want to go that route, but I, I'm with you. I mean, I'm probably never going to do it. Oh, we just popped mages out of the nice little super. What's up, mage fists? We don't need you, though. We have plenty of mages. All right, vampires we need to keep here because we want to crap bloods. Oh. We'll get the chain boots real quick. God, this is such a great wing T map. Such a great cold friendly area. Plenty of racks and things to pop. Sony Tomb, dude. Such an OG area. Like, what an amazing thing that they honestly made this an 85 area in D2R. That was huge, man, when they upgraded this to area level 85. Massive. All right, let's get this champ here. All right, pop, 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 pop see anything worth getting excited no not really all right let's go get creeping feature up north as you guys can see this is a kiting strategy you can actually overlap your orbs which is really nice so if you know how to aim your orb really nicely, it's something I highly encourage that you do when you get comfortable with it, where you can kind of crowd control them in an area. You can actually get two orbs out with the timing, latent delay, casting delay, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I, I would agree with you only because I, I feel like also ooh, Cryptic X, what do we got? Uh, it doesn't look to be to fire how the boots, how's the cryptic, no, uh, military pick, yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, I think the thing with AT is that also you have more tight corridors, right, Shadow? And so I think, like, basically when you're running Stony Tomb, I feel like it's just a little bit more spread out with your basic wing T map. So, yeah, I would definitely run a lot more Stony Tomb than I would want to run AT, but obviously you have a love for AT too, which is always solid. Yo, Rose, evening theory. I'm super delayed from pre-rolls, but lurking, giving out healthy RNG. <laughs> all good, all good. We ran TZ Andy. She did not deliver in a big way, but we did get a low TC item gray form off of her. We got our fourth Tall Rosh's plate, our third grandfather. We got a solid 32020 Eldrick. Where is it? Right here, which is solid. Uh, we got a 30 Nagel. Can't complain. Definitely some solid items overall. Another Viper Magi. You know, generally was okay. Obviously, I would have liked to specifically you know, get some higher end drops. That would have been grail items, but all good. All right, let's get back to Stony. No, no real big drops in Stony. Surprising, actually, for being P7, especially. Uh, good elite density P7 all the racks i would have expected a decent drop by now from stony but we haven't had anything really to get excited about so we are i mean we've had those three sacred armors surprisingly a fucking white a socket and a magic that was actually incredible that's what i would get most excited about was the fucking randomness of those three uh super sorry sacred armors not super can't talk man a lot of elite density always here 
And all these urns and chest to pop, 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 pop. All right, let's go back here. Make sure we're not missing anything interesting with the item limit on the ground. It's not looking like it. All right, let's get south. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's literally super easy. It's very easy to navigate. It's uber fucking cold friendly. You're, you literally never run into a cold immune except creeping feature. I mean, you gotta love that as a cold sork. Cold sork paradise, man. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm probably going to wait towards the end for a torch. I just think it's too high risk. It's not worth the reward, in my opinion, because obviously there's no guarantee that it even goes Sork, right? So if I'm doing anything first, I'm going to hope to find a second SOJ, in which case, of course, I would go do my D clone. And I do have a Paladin that I started leveling, by the way. Ooh, Superior Sacred Ranache. So I have already started leveling a Paladin. Uh, just for like the moment when I'm ready. I actually don't even really need an exile. I actually am very pro Haas. Uh, at least for if we're talking D clone. Uh, obviously, exile gives you the benefit. Ooh, Arcana's already have that, right? Pretty sure, yeah. Ooh, that sucks. I mean, look, if you have the luxury to get a lot, we also need the base, right? I actually do think that I have a decent base, if I remember. I found a 27 FST or SR, I think. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, it takes about 30 hits, though, Shadow. That's the only downside is so I'd have to wait for it to proc if I really wanted to. But I, I need the second SOJ anyways, so the chances of that happening soon or, you know, like anything else, variable. So... You know, until I get the second one, I'm not going to be able to... Well, to be fair, I could use my current SOJ, but now that I'm rocking the SOJ, that now that I found the Arachnids, like, I have no interest in taking this Soj off just for the sake of getting an Annie. So, I'll probably just, you know, like I said, cross the fingers, hope that at some point in the not-too-distant future... Oh, there's a GC. That we can get ourselves fortunate and lucky. Oh, this is annoying, so I gotta go click on it. Hold on. And we'll go from there. Well, yeah, but I would assume that Trix probably has a decent... I mean, again, like, I have every piece that I need. Uh, it's not that I can't do Ubers. It's just that, like, obviously I'd have to go level a character, decide the setup that I want, but... Oh, yeah, I'm a big fan of black. I was going to say, like, I'm probably going to roll a black to do clone. Like, there's no need. I literally have every piece of an item that I require to do D clone. Like, to me, it's not worth the risk. I am way too far off from my grail to have a chance of an unfortunate rip. Like, I have so many items that I have to get. I am not worried about a torch right now. I am much worried about other elements for me. So that's yeah, that's that's my honest take. That's how I look at it. I'd rather get my Annie well before I get the torch. No, that's what I'm saying. I can build a smiter. I don't need an exile. I literally have every item. I don't even need to make a Greek. You can, you, yeah, I have a Heaven's Light. I obviously have uh, a black you can roll specifically. There's a lot that I can do. Like, but I think it's it's all moot. You're not going to convince me to do Torch anytime soon. It is way too risky. There's no guarantee I even roll a plus three. Like, Sork, like, yes, I could get the stats, but, like, eh, it's not worth it. I have a lot more that I have to acquire in general. And that's where I'm keeping my eye on the prize right now for timing and efficiency. Oop. Oh, I forgot. I needed to teleport. I forgot. Oh, good. Forgot Creeping Future down there.
Yeah, let's just pray for the, uh... Pray for the second Soge. That's really what we want to pray for. All right, Jimbo, man. Good luck with those studies, buddy. Thanks for tuning in as long as you did. I will, uh, I will catch you soon, brother. Take care. Yeah, cheers, man. Appreciate that. See if we can't get another one before I get off tonight. Yeah, it's been a... I was already talking to Shadow about it. Like, I've done plenty of my hardcore Ubers, but my last hardcore Uber was probably well over two years ago. So there's also that factor. Like, obviously, when you get in a rhythm and you know your process, like, it's easier to handle. But obviously, for me, it's also just been a minute. So I would need some level of practice run online before I would probably attempt to go for it here. But my first order of business is getting the Paladin leveled to 70, 75, which is really all you need. I wouldn't go any higher than that for my Grail. Because, again, there's not really a point considering he can slap the clone at 70. You can even slap Ubers at 70. You don't really need to go higher. So, just kind of depends. We'll see. We'll see what setup I end up running with. I'm pretty sure I already have... Yeah, I definitely already have Hell Plague. Yep. Okay. Man, Merc is starting to get slapped. He didn't die in my first P7 runs down here, but man, he's getting fucking lit up. On these last couple runs. Oh. We need to get Mr. Merc back here. Okay, a little spicy there. Alright, let's go revive Mr. Merc. Holy mother of God, look at this amulet. <laughs> and there is not a single plus staff mod on that. That is a shame right there, guys. That makes, honestly, this amulet hurts to look at just as bad as those tri-res boots we found earlier. We found plus four decks, tri-res, magic fine boots, and no faster run walk. Oh, Shadow, come take a look at this. If you think that is so close so far, look at these boots right here. Look at these boots. That hurts to look at, dude. No faster run walk. That hurts. To stare at that. Yeah, bro. We found that off TZ Andy in the first hour. I mean, I, I'm keeping them because obviously from my paladin that I'm going to level, there are other characters. These are obviously great for progression purposes. But yeah, dude. That was a, a painful, painful roll on those, bro. <laughs> That is right. But Rose, if you're still here, I, I appreciate it. I, I, I know you're motivated. I know you're cheering for me. I know you always want the best for your boy. So I don't mean to ever come off um, agitated or like you're backseating or anything like that. It's more just like I hear you. Like I, I definitely want to get it done. But I, I've already had the conversation with Shadow. He kind of knows where I stand on it. Like. I'm probably not going to be doing it anytime soon until I start to kind of really dial it in. Ooh, Korun. You know, like once I really start to get down there, like probably sub 40 items, which we're at 66 to go right now, then I'm like, okay, then I could see myself actually really starting to think about it a little bit more. And maybe by then I got lucky and we got a second Soge and I could go slap D clone around, you know, um, we'll see. We shall see. We'll get there either way. Yo, Slib, what's up, buddy? Whoa. 
No, I, I do agree. I definitely have to get the smiter moving. Uh, it depends. I can either level him on a stream for you guys, or I can do it on like a Discord spot stream. But yeah, I do need to get him moving for sure. Whoa. My orb did not want to fire there. That was weird. I think maybe in the corner of the angle. It was not triggering when I was firing. Just woke up for the morning shift. Very nice. Let's go get a creeping feature. Yeah, we did a TZ Andy the first hour. Uh, all we have is gray form from a grail item to basically mark. As you can see, Slib, we are doing TZ Stony right now. I am going to be getting off in the next 30 minutes or so. The wife wants to watch the final episode of Shogun Tuesday tonight over on Hulu. So I'm also excited to watch that. I've been a big fan of the Shogun series. Oh, we did have another elite here. I was wondering where I was taking so long to get these guys down. What is he? Oh, he's magic resistant. Oh, he's magic and cold. Okay, that's going to be a bitch. Merc's got to get in there. Yeah, no, it, it, it is true. I mean, like, I mean, my online Foden that I converted to a smiter, he had black. I pre-procked with, I mean, you can even wear a treachery. You don't even have to pre-proc with it. I think I slapped him with a treachery, uh, obviously uh, a gills, a black, a haz. I did have a drac pair. Um, yeah, you can definitely, and I, and again, like I have all of the items. I mean, considering I have 66 items left on my grail, as you know, we found our second pair of Drax the other day. Like I have T-Gods, I have I think one or two Dungos. So like, I, yeah, I, I'm with you, Shadow. Like I'm definitely in a position right here where the Sork is anchored and I have most of the items for what I need to make a Smiter. And obviously when I'm leveling the Paladin, we're going to start with him as a hammered in because obviously it's easiest to progress through. I think he's holy fire right now. I'll go hammers and nightmare to help him just progress with expediency. And then obviously, yeah, once you hit like 70, 75, like that's when I can just boom, like have him ready, go make a smiter and just go from there. I would agree, Shadow. I would I would agree overall with that for sure. Oh, we have another magic and cold resistant here. It's gonna take just a smidge longer to get him down. Ooh, Conviction and Might. Okay. That looks spicy and fun. Ah, uh, the Might Pack must be north. Where is he hiding, I suppose, actually? Gotta be up here. Yep. Hmm. Got to pull these guys out. The orb is a little bit too much of a tight corridor there. There we go. Oh, wait. Two oh, there were two uniques there. Oh, wow. Okay. That was interesting. Did not see that. Double the trouble, double the fun, Shadow. Ooh, okay. Spicy room. Ooh. 
Little blessed aim, little amp action. Let's go see. We got the Gaunts over here. Uh, Rose, were you here before? I was talking to you. I don't know if you were uh, watching another stream or AFK. It's not sure if you heard me. No, it's all good. Uh, no, I just wanted to say, uh, I hope you know that, you know, my intent was not to be defensive or obviously, uh, you know, come off that way. I, I, I know deep down you're supporting me. I appreciate you being here. I know you just want the best and, you know, you're, you're encouraging me to do stuff, which is great. Like, um, I definitely will get to it. I just think what I want to do and shadow, which as you can see is block a text above, like my Swork is in a really good place right now. And I do need to get back to leveling the smiter. So that's probably something worth doing because eventually I will have to get to declone, smack him, get the Annie, which will be nice, right? And then at least I have him prepared for Ubers because that's the other thing. I only have two hate keys. Those are the only keys that I have. I have not really focused on key hunting either. And I have stayed completely away from Nilithak for obvious reasons. Uh, as we know with Dark Humility is a joke, as we were talking about. So uh, I know that they patched it, but you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I mean, Look, I, you you know me. I, I'm a hardcore player. You see me. I, I don't play timid. I still play aggressively. Uh, I'm still a general aggressive player, but I definitely, you know, I'm, I'm tactful. <laughs> well, we'll leave it at that as a joke, right? Like, I think obviously I do what I can in the right way to, you know, kind of progress. But I mean, look, we're getting there. I mean, 88%. We're coming in on 180 hours. Found the gray form tonight. So 66 items remaining. Not so bad. Not so bad. Rose, did you have a chance to check out the new vid today? I think you probably did. Um, definitely a fan of it. I think I got some good feedback. I got people honestly sending me some messaging on the side. Actually, it's I, I, what is to me what is most validating about this video series that I came up with is the people that ping me were like, honestly, I fucking love this idea. Like, please keep rolling out these snackable videos and like, I'm not saying it's the only content I'm going to make, but I might try to just focus on it for a little bit, you know, like push out that style of content, see where it goes, you know, so thank you. No, I appreciate it, Rose. It was fun. You know, I, I like making you, you know me by now. Anybody that knows my content, they know that I make quality edited, quality framed, kind of technical based videos. And this is just what I like to make. I mean, this is my style of content, so. You know, I will say that, like, Shadow, I actually was thinking about it today. Um, you know, knowing how well my first build guide did with the Fortitude Nova Sork, because that thing is still cooking, man. That thing is still getting, like, 500, like, something, like, close to, like, two to 500 views a week at this point. I realize that I know Orb Sork so well, Shadow. Uh, we should probably on... Oh, nice. First Sunder, I think, hopefully. We should probably do a build guide on my style of ES Orb Sork because I just know the Orb Sorceress so well. It, it makes sense for us to do a video. So, probably we'll get to that. Uh, black Cleft, Black Cleft. Ah, uh, Flame Rift and your fucking trash. <laughs> of course. Whoa! <laughs> oh. What's up, Might? Oh, a build guide on my ES Sork, how I like to build and play ES Sorks. I mean, the, the, the premise of the ES Orber is not anything new, but I think it's like the specific build and the splits, because to your point, Shadow, you and I both know this, like a lot of people like to go max ES and you and I don't, right? Um, 
you know, you and I are bigger fans. And I think I think Rose also aligns to this philosophy. I think Rose, we've we've talked about this, like more of like the 68 to 70 percent for mana upkeep, whereas a lot of people, they're just like, oh, well, why the fuck would I not max ES? Well, I don't think you're thinking through the trade offs of that decision. So, oh, my God, is that Tig? Is that really Tig in my stream right now? It's got to be a miracle. That can't be, man. What's up, brother? Good to see you, homie. Ooh, you just got popped there. I was not paying. Oh, okay. I guess I'm going back to level one here. Yeah, I'm kind of in the 65 to 69. I mean, where am I right now? I mean, obviously, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I am. I'm 72, but obviously my base is only level seven with hard points. So obviously, I now that I have the plus one with the Iraq and the Soge, I think I was 69. And I think that that it pushed it over the edge when I equipped them. So. <laughs> Tig, what's up, buddy? What are you playing these days? Are you still grinding? Wow. What do you uh, I know you've always been a wowed raid guy at heart in your core DNA. Is that kind of what you've still been generally focused on, you'd say? <laughs> I see what you're doing there, Shadow. I see what you're doing there. Oh man, extra fast in this amp is... Oh, bone snap! This is P7, by the way, if anybody wonders. So all of these monsters are anywhere from 96 to 99. So they slap. Oh, nice. Good old mosaic sin. <laughs> Just let the proc fly, baby. Oh, perfect 300 ED bone snap. Too bad this bad boy is not ethereal, but because that's perfect, we are definitely going to go mule this guy. There we go. Well, Tig, by the way, I was going to say, um, as you know, you're in my Discord. Most people in my Discord are D3, D4, uh, Last Epoch players. And so if you want to kind of engage, man, definitely feel free to, you know, hang out on the Discord. If you need anybody help, if you're playing online, you know, there is a mix of softcore and hardcore players in the Discord, brother. So uh, don't be shy, man. Don't be shy if you want to play with anybody with the crew. But I know you got your homies, man. So definitely respect that. Uh, I don't think there's any elites here. Yeah, we're going to skip over here. Let's go right to Creeping Feature. Yeah, that's when you're going to turn the VFX down a little bit on the mosaics in, huh? Let's not melt the card. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the mosaic sin is just... I mean, as you know, it's, it's, it's obviously pretty fucking OP, dude. Pretty OP. Pretty much just deletes everything for a fucking two goal runes. Ooh, nice little sky spirit. Yeah, I mean, ideally, you would obviously love to have the right staff mod bases, but to your point, I mean, it is not a requirement. I mean, you're talking two freaking goal runes and you can just delete Sanctuary. Yeah, like, you're good. Ooh, nice little pop there, Jewel. Ooh, ED requirements was almost fun. Whew. What's up? They made a smite pally for uber killing, been busy with key sets on traitor, then farming torches. Nice, there you go. 
You're just talking about that. Yeah, I mean, I have, I mean, I always basically do a seasonal hardcore character just to have it. And my last two seasons, I primarily made them into smiters so I can help public D clones. And I guess to your point, in theory, if anybody did want any help on an Uber, I could always give it a go. So, you know, I'll still create those characters for that reason, for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Always good to have a smiter on hand, dude. 2017 Necro, it's very respectable. Obviously, a lot of Necro players out there. Dude, yeah, Mosaic. I think Lucky Luciano's Mosaic Sin slapped them in like 38 seconds or something ridiculous. I remember he posted the video. I'm pretty sure it was 38 seconds. Or maybe, or maybe it was like he basically took the video where it was even collecting the organs. Maybe it was sub one minute. I think it was sub one minute or something crazy. I can't remember what his video was, but dude, it was the actual Ubers themselves like in Tristram where I think 38 seconds. Oh, Wolf Powell pop, <laughs> but it's not a grail find. But maybe we'll get a nice little plus three, six, 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 15, 15, 15. Maybe, maybe. Oh, wow. A 455, five, five. unfortunately, a plus two, not a plus three, bricked on the stats, but not bad. Woof. Woof. Honestly, this is only my second one, I think, so I'll, I'll keep it just for the sake of having this second digital copy. But you gotta love popping stuff, man. That's why you always, always hit those objects, boys and girls. Always hit the object. Man, I feel like this turn has always been spicy these last couple games with some multiple elites, a couple might, a little bit of amp action. Oh, there is an elite here. Okay. Uh, I know you guys always love when I pop something on Andy, like kind of consistently. I mean, when the LK seed maps too. Dude, popping a fucking SOJ would be a video for the ages. That'd be fun, huh? That would be a lot of fun to be able to show that on video with a pop and a drop. Oh, okay. Merc just got slapped around. Ooh. Ooh. No bow, and then the poison. Go get that cleansing back from the Merc. Alright, let's go get some HPs from Drogue. Oh, Archon Plates. Alright. Oh man, this is another busy room. Boy, you better proc fade quickly, homie. Ooh, superior ST. Definitely gonna check that out. Unfortunately, that would be a Larzic, but if that shit is 40 plus or even, God, I'd even say 35 plus, I'd probably heavily consider that. That, my friend, would be worth it. Let's see, where is it? 
Oh my god, dude. That is fucking painful. 10 ED, 12 res. Rip. Rip city. That sucks. All right, guys, I got to get off momentarily because we're going to go watch Shogun. In these final six minutes, do you guys want to see me do a final TZ Stony Tomb? Or do you want me to do some fun L7 pops in the double campfire action? What do you guys want to see? Let me know. What should we do? Yeah, I don't know if Biv, I mean, Livia got off earlier over on YouTube, but if Biv is still here, he power farm D4. He's still a pretty active D4 player. Um, okay, I like it, Rose. We'll do it. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, they definitely made some strides and improvements with the D4 P PTR 100%. So I would say that, like, yeah, I'm sure people are going to go back and check it out. And yeah, fuck that, Shadow. <laughs> Hell no. What are you, nuts? <laughs> yeah, it's a no dog. Shady's favorite area, getting to me to a swampy pits and a maggot lair run. Cancer. My tall Lammy probably is hiding in swampy pits. That's the funny thing about it, Shadow. Well, be on the lookout for my new YouTube short video dropping tomorrow, which pays homage to the lack of finding my tall Rasha's Ami so far in the Grail. For those that saw me do it live, it's a fun little clip. So we're turning it into a good old YouTube short. So people can enjoy in the fun. Ah, fuck, no keys. All right. Rip. Let's go to Jamela. All right, we definitely need those keys for LK runs. Let's see if we can't pop a Sir Rune before we get out of here. That'd be dope. That'd be very awesome. Magic Spiderwood Sash out of there. And it was just unused? Or is it just somewhere in the game and then people just don't realize it's there embedded somewhere? Shadow. Oh, all the unused components of the game. I will pick up that Nef room as I do want to craft those blood gloves and I want to pick up those mat jabs, this charm here. Gotta love good old L7 Pops. All right, let's go see how this small charm and grand charm were. Oh, nice. Eight life cold res seven. That is exactly what I want as a cold sword with Sunder. Very nice charm. We'll move you over here. Are right, the jabs. Ooh, 320s, not 640s, close. Actually, you know what? Do I have a ruby on here? Oh, no, I don't. I was going to say I could go roll the ruby over here on the Bloodcraft gloves, but I need a ruby. Because I have the Nefer and the Jewel, we can roll those gloves, try to pop some nice uh, crushing blow for a smiter. Uh, 
Amulet. All good. Good to see you, Rose. Talk to you in the Discord. Have a wonderful Wednesday tomorrow, and I will catch you on the next stream. Cheers. wasn't even following me what big boy you back from bowling or are you on your phone homie you're just catching me towards the tail end of the stream dog if you're there listening in we got gray form off of andy that was the only grail find of the night we did a whole hour of um you can't sub via twitch uh what do you mean Oh, if you're on your mobile, by the way, dude, there's definitely issues with Prime on mobile. I feel like a lot of people have had issues with that. But you should be able to use it if it says you have it. Oh, yeah, you're on mobile. Yeah, I think that's why, dude. There's some issue that I've, like, Shady and others have tried to use their Prime. I don't know why that is. It does something weird where... um it doesn't behave really nicely with mobile, so I've heard, with Prime. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, we got another Talls, a Grandfather, we got a nice Eldrick, a 30 Nagel. Um, some decent stuff dropped, but only the Grey form physically that was a Grail tracked ledger item. But honestly, to get a low TC item like Grey Form off of TZ Andy is actually kind of uh, kind of comical, to be honest. But also nice at the same time because I need a Grey Form, and I needed a low TC item. So I mean, why not? Hey, there comes the Prime, brother. Thank you very much. Good looks, man. I appreciate you coming back with your Bezos Prime, brother. Thank you very much, Kron. Always appreciate the love and support, homie. How was bowling, dude? You get north at north of 200? Not sure if you're an avid bowler or more casual. Ooh, what do we got here? Damage, AR, Life, Leech, All Res. Interesting. That's something I'm going to really use here, though. Ooh, Stony Tomb just came up, huh? Well, at least you're very consistent on your splits there, which is nice. I mean, consistency is really where it's at, right? I mean, that means that you have kind of your, your line of sight dialed in. And I feel like that's always pretty important, so. Oh, we already found a Flameberg earlier. Been bowling for two years. Nice, dude. So is it like, uh, is it a league that you play in? Uh, I would assume it was some type of league. Um... Or was it more just casual tonight with uh, friends? Well, we might as well get these champ doom apes because they're here. Why not?
30 week league we won both 15 week legs and took the whole damn show nice dude congrats to you man that's sick all right rack an issue Little Nats Helm off rack and issue. Not a grail drop, but not bad. Oh, damn. Set City over here on this pack. IK Belt, Nats Helm, Eisenhearts. Tell you his totem. Solid Helm, though, all around, man. Always. Unique ring, let's go. Dude, thank God I came over here before the stream ended. I was like, fuck it, let me just go, like, run a couple, see what happens. So we had a unique amulet tonight. It went no Kazan. Our first unique ring off TZ Andy went a perfect Nagel. We had two set amulets, Kron, by the way. Yes, we did. Cyverbs and Arathas. The hunt for Talls continues. And now we're about to ID this bad boy. Ooh, a 29. Okay. Nagel Central tonight, I guess. To be honest, most of, most of my Nagels have been shit. So, honestly, it sucks that it's another Nagel. But I'm going to keep it to kind of pair with this one right here, which is what you see. There's the 30 right there. Yeah, zero, <laughs> zero surprise on the set Amis. Zero surprise. All right, guys, this is going to be my last run coming up because the wife wants to watch the final episode of Shogun tonight on Hulu, which I want to watch with her, too. So we'll knock out one more Stony Tomb, go slap some demons, see if we can't get lucky right here on this uh, P7. Well, actually, we'll do one more LK pop here, too. Why not? Fuck it. No, all good, brother, man. I knew you were out. I appreciate that. And, uh, dude, thank you very much for the Bezos sub. Uh... And that, uh, and that follow, dog. You were fucking holding out on me with that follow, huh, man? <laughs> I know you're mostly a YouTube viewer, man, so I'm just giving you shit. All good, man. I appreciate you being here either way, dude. Every little bit counts, bro. Every little bit counts. Uh, let's see. Do I have a key? Oh, we do have a key. Nice. I was hoping for a key. Ah, yeah, I was just going to say, I, it was confusing me because I'm like, oh, I thought he was already following me over on Twitch, but maybe not. All good. Oh, yeah? <laughs> nice. Uh, I also bought something from Bezos today. <laughs> from the app. <laughs> the Mecha app. Ooh, okay. All right, goat man, relax. Damn, these guys took a while to get down. They might be, uh, oh, you know what? They're probably because they're cold immune. That's why I think they're cold immune over in Stony. I was like, that took way too long to get down. All right, boys and girls, this was fun. 
just a short uh, just over about two hour and 15 minute stream tonight. A little bit cold on TZ Andy. She let me down just a little bit, but we will take that tall Rosh as a nice 32020 20 Ashutas, which was nice. Uh, guys, I think I posted in the Discord. I'm pretty sure I decided that I'm going to stream on Saturday, most likely, as my next stream. Uh, probably a little bit of a grail. Maybe I'll finally go back to some last Epoch action. I am definitely itching for it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I mean, uh, obviously, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. As always, I will catch you guys in the Discord. Uh, Shadow, Sliv, Niz, uh, Kron, Fatherson, Biv, Sathis. Um, obviously, Liv is gone. Tom and team, sorry if I missed anybody. If you guys are still tuning in. Oh, Tig is still here, of course. So good to see you, man. Uh, glad to hear you back on the D2 grind. Uh, but yeah, I will catch you guys in the next stream as always. And until then, man, cheers, be well, and I'll catch you guys soon.